Question number 12 asks, the helicopter view of this figure shows uh, two people pulling on a stubborn mule. Take F1 is 146 newtons and F2 is 79 newtons. Mm. So find the single force that is equivalent to the two forces shown above is question A. Question B says find a, the force that a, that a third person would have to exert on the mule to make the net force equal to zero. So here's what we're doing. The first force, let me go ahead and clear off this uh, mule's thinking bubble. What we have here is the first force. It's giving us this in 60 degrees, so we'll just go ahead and use it. Um, is 146 newtons. So we know that that is an equivalent. We can we can add up the newtons here and here. So x1 and y1 give us this resultant vector. And then we'll add up x2 and y2 to get this one. So um, let's just go ahead and pencil something in the, the force in here. This is 79 newtons. 79 newtons. So um, we, we just plug in our, our sine and cosine functions to find x1 and y1. So um, sine of 60 degrees equals our uh, opposite over hypotenuse. So opposite of this angle would be our y1. So y1 over our hypotenuse, 146. And you work that out algebraically. And y1 equals um, y1 equals 126.44. Then x1, let me do that again, x1 is going to be our cosine function, it's our adjacent over hypotenuse, so cosine of 60 degrees equals x1 over 146, you work that out algebraically, and x1 equals 73 newtons, so those are newtons. So y1 and x1, uh, 126.44, 73. The next part says um, that we have, uh, I can't even read my writing anymore, I think it's a 79, hold on just a second. Yes, it's 79 newtons, so um, again we'll use, this will be our adjacent, and our new angle will be 75 uh, degrees, um, because it's giving us it from this direction. Um, that's why we're not using this right here, although we could, um, because uh, we know that this is 90 going straight up, so 90 minus 75, this would be a 15 degree angle. So we could use that, but we're not going to. So we got 75 degrees, so our x, uh, our y2, y is going to be the, the adjacent, um, I'm sorry, the, the opposite and I really could do a better job of penciling in this angle. So this angle only touches this line right here. It doesn't touch my Y line. So this is my opposite. So sine of 75 equals my Y1 or my Y2 over uh, 79. 79 newtons. So you work that out algebraically and Y2 equals. That equals um, 73 plus 20.44. I need to find my y1 plus my y2. So that equals um, 
126.44 plus um, 76.3 and so my my resultant my my resultant x and my resultant y now before uh, we go any further um, let me point something out because I, I almost missed it myself on our x values, you got to remember that this x2 value is in the negative x direction, so we need to make sure that we reflect that and, and uh, subtract. So our resultant vectors are um, x equals 52.56 and y equals 202.74. So what I was saying is that if we have a, a coordinate plane, if we go over 50, let me change the color. We go over 52.56. Uh, um, we go up 202.74. And that is our resultant vector. So we can form, perform Pythagorean theorem. The square root of 52 squared, 52.56 squared, plus 202.74 squared equals magnitude of our resultant vector. So the resultant vector has a magnitude of 209.4422622 and we need to find the angle. So um, we know that this 209.44 whatever whatever and we know that so we'll put 209.4 and we know that our, our up value our, our y 202.74 202.74 and our x, our resultant x, 52.56 and now we can use these numbers to find the angle, we could use any of them, we could use tangent, we could use cosine, um, sine, it doesn't matter because we have all three sides. So I'll just use, um, I'll just use the, the cosine adjacent over hypotenuse so 52, um, 52.56 over 209.44 equals, or actually times, times um, sine to the negative 1 power equals my theta, equals my angle. And my angle is approximately, so theta is approximately 75.46. So theta, that's supposed to not be a zero, that's a theta, is um, 75.46 degrees north of, of, uh, west, uh, north of east, or you could say counterclockwise of the positive x-axis. Um, matter of fact, the question is saying counterclockwise, so you would say 75.46 degrees. So right now we know that we have a mule that's got being pulled at 209 newtons this way and that's 75.46 degrees and it wants to know what could we do to make the mule uh, what third force could we put on there what what force could the mule put on there to make um, there be no uh, no net movement and the answer is equal magnitude and 180 degrees different so equal magnitude of 209.44 and 180 degrees um, on top of this. So this is here and we want to hold a straight line in the opposite direction. So that's 180 degrees past this. So 75.46 plus 180 <coughs> equals 255.46 degrees um, counterclockwise of the x from the x-axis, and that's uh, part B.